Um, I think as a team, we played really solid. Um, anytime we, you play Air Force, you know you're going to have to guard uh, the system. I mean, they run Princeton, so you know it's a lot of back cuts, a lot of talk. And I feel like um, we guarded really well in the first half and then came out in the second half and even guarded better. Um, and we're able to turn up the intensity and turn our stops into points and just kind of kept rolling on what we started in the first half. Um, not really. We were talking. Just we knew what we had to do. We knew we were going to be away from the bench, so we were really focused on talking more on defense because we're away from our bench. We're, and we were just we knew what was coming. We prepared really well. I mean, the coaches always have us really prepared for Air Force. We knew we know their system, know how to guard it, and we went out and executed. Sam had a really good start every second half. Of the year, going through. Yeah, that always helps. <laughs> Um, there were a, a couple plays after he started kind of getting going that he coach ran for him. And, I mean, Sam's a great player, and he's always going to hit his open shots. And, I mean, Kobe gets so much attention um, from other defenses, and he's great at driving and kicking, and we were able to find the open man. What is it about the stars, like, against Wyoming? Well, mean, had a slow start tonight, kind of a slow start, and then the second half you just kind of – Explode offensively. Um, I feel like tonight um, we what really helped us was our defense, and that's what got us going the second half. I mean, there's time nights the uh, the ball's not going to go in. I mean, we were getting good shots, and they're not going to fall. But we really have to hang back on our defense. We can't let our defense slip up because that's something that comes down to us, comes down to effort, comes down to talking. Offensive end, we'll take care of it. I mean, we have such great offensive players that we'll be able to get through it. But really, I think just the defensive part is what helped us. And then kind of just once our offense caught back up, we were good. I can't remember if you were out there when Kobe did the baseline <coughs> crazy circus shot. I, was, mm -hmm. I mean, he's a, <laughs> he's a great player. Um, he plays through contact, a lot of contact. Um, he doesn't get uh, all the calls, but he keeps playing. and. He's going to score the ball. Is there like a way you lifted off your shoulders a little bit? And just kind of had so, so many games you could have went either way and just went the wrong way? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like we're the team we are. Um, we're going to go hard every night. Um, and the Wyoming game, we kind of started out sluggish, and that's not how we want to play. Um, we, we really, really want to go out and outcompete every team. Um, both offensively and defensively. And tonight, I feel like our defense is what started it. And then with the offensive players we have, we were able to finish. You know, like Quinn said, our defense was really good this game. Uh, we prepped our stuff really well. Our coaches know how to guard that system, that Princeton, that Princeton system. Uh, we executed the defensive plan. Uh, it was hard for them to get to get buckets. I think they shot 13% from three and like 37% from two. So, you know, we, uh, we did a good job there, and uh, you know we communicated a lot tonight. You know because they do a lot of stuff off the ball, and um, you know our defense stood up for us, and that's what won us the game. Questions? They did really struggle from three, mm -hmm. right? and then a lot of it was against the shot clock, which sometimes they'll, they'll do that a lot. But mm -hmm. it seemed like you guys really were out there. On. Yeah, um, you know we know everything they do, and th there's certain things that uh, that trigger their offense, and we know all those things because uh, our coaches do a great job of of scouting that that offense that they run. Um, so, you know, once we guarded them out for 25 straight seconds, you know, they, have, they had to take a tough shot at the end of the clock. And, you know, we're taking our chances with those. It was kind of like the uh, Wyoming game a little bit. You finished strong at the, at the end of the first half and then pulled away there. Obviously, you weren't coming from behind like you were. Mm -hmm. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is, but, you know, uh, we got to start both halves. Uh, the same way we do the second halves. Um, you know, we got to start out strong at the beginning of the game. Uh, we got to continue to to come out strong in the second half. Uh, but you know, we'll work at it. We'll get better at it, and you know, we'll we'll, we'll put this thing together uh, for us to win more basketball games. You and, you and Sam had big second halves. What was it about the game? Did, did the flow just work that way, or was it you guys kind of took it upon yourself to? Make things happen, not just for yourselves, but for your teammates as well. Oh uh, yeah, um, you know, I fed off Sam. Um, Sam's playing unbelievable right now. Um, he, he's playing at a high level, and you know, I, was, I just 
uh, follow his lead, and I just play off him uh, right now uh, because he's shooting the ball like like crazy. He's he's barely missing. So um, you know, our team feeds off Sam. I feed off Sam, and you know, when he's hitting shots, it seems to trickle down to all of us, and you know, we st we all start hitting shots. You're getting to the part of the season where you're starting to play um, teams for the second time. You know, with this game coming up this weekend, how much does that? change preparation and, and, and does it make it easier for you or, or is it just different? Um, it's probably going to be different because since we play them again, uh, coaches uh, are going to probably add a little wrinkles into their offense, add a little wrinkles into their defense, uh, stuff that we can't prep that we haven't seen before. Um, you know, that's what this is getting to the part of the season where they do that. Um, so, you know, um, we're we're going to have to be ready for it. Uh, our defense is going to have to stand up for us on the road. That's what wins road games. And you know, we're going to come. We're going to have to come ready to play, especially against Fresno, because I know uh, those guys want some revenge against us. So um, we're going to have to come ready to play. So you're crazy little up and under. Were you more surprised it went in or more surprised it didn't get a foul? Uh, I was surprised. It, I didn't get the foul. I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Or do you want, okay. yeah, kind of on that 18 shot attempts. Only four free throws, and there were a couple other times you were a little kind of miffed that you didn't get the foul call. Do you feel like refs kind of miss a couple calls because you do attack so much? You do create a lot of contact. Um, I feel that the the refs do a good job of of you know controlling the game, and uh, they're 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 human. Uh, they're gonna miss calls, uh, but you know. I got as as me as a competitor. Sometimes I get a little frustrated with them, but you know I got to do a better job of just uh, keeping my composure and uh, just playing through it. Um, I do attack a lot, and it, it's hard to referee me because I create so much contact. But um, you know they did they did, they did a good job tonight. Those are two two out of the three are probably my favorite referees. Uh, so you know uh, they did a great job tonight. Were you a happy to have Alex back out there? Oh yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. What, what kind of difference does he make when he's available? Um, when he's on the floor, he just uh, he's so long and so athletic. He just he's able to protect the rim really well. Um, he's athletic. Uh, he's able to move his feet uh, quicker than a lot of bigs uh, for his size. He's really fast. Um, you know, he just gives us a different spark, a uh, different dynamic for our team, uh, which that we which we we missed and we really need. So um, you know, it's great having Alex back. Yeah, it's. Um a lot of credit to our guys. I uh, thought they did a great job handling the game plan and, and uh, really being focused defensively on every possession. You play Air Force, you know it's going to be a, a possession type of game. You know, they're gonna, they're, their time of possession is uh, something they take pride in, and you're going to have to guard for, you know, 15, 20, 25 seconds on a possession. And, and it takes defensive patience and, um, you know, some, some defensive confidence. And our guys did a good job of preparing and uh, executing. And then offensively, uh, a too, few too many needless turnovers in the first half. I thought we were making good plays, but our delivery was not very good. You know, Diogo Brito a few times did, did a good job of making a, uh, something happen and then didn't throw the right type of pass to complete the play. So I uh, love the aggressiveness. We've just got to be a little bit better in our decision making with what type of pass we throw. And, and so I, uh, I thought the second half we did a better job of moving the ball uh, and, and finding the open man and delivering it on time and, and knock some shots down. So obviously <laughs> Sam Merrill was uh, unreal. I mean, unreal. Uh, leading our defense, communicating, and then offensively, um, that's, I mean, eight, eight for 10, 21 points. Uh, that's as efficient as you can be as a player. I thought he was tremendous. What is it about his basketball IQ that just makes him that efficient? And not, like you said, not just on the offensive side, but on the defensive side of the ball, too. Yeah, huge defensive plays in a lot of, a lot of ways. Uh, you know, I think Sam's been – that's the way Sam sees basketball, not just since he got to Utah State. He came here as a guy that uh, was a, a winner, was going to do make a play that needed to be made, whether that was be a stopper, whether, whether that was be a facilitator, whether that was score the ball. Uh, and when he, he shoots the ball, he, he shoots it in an efficient manner. Uh, every shot means something to him. And, and uh, you know, we've had some really efficient players around here over the years, and he is – He's playing at as high a level for a guard as we've had a uh, long time around here. He is 
in all areas. He is just doing a, a tremendous job. The thing that always uh, you know, gets overlooked with him is he's, his assist turnover ratio is about three to one. And uh, that's, he, he's, he's a big time guard in this league. Uh, yeah, yeah, that actually was a design play. So, uh, yeah, Sam needs to thank me tomorrow. Maybe he'll take me to lunch or something. But uh, he, he was he was great, and it was uh, it was a good delivery too. Uh, I think it was Dwayne Brown that threw it to him. But um, yeah, I, you know, the one thing we talked about at halftime was second half of the second half. Let's let's make sure on the defensive end when you're in front of their bench that we don't lose focus, that we don't lose communication. That we don't lose our assignments, and and I thought we did a good job of that. How important is the depleted front court? And maybe this is just a, a broken record, but for Kobe and Sam to play well like they did tonight, the second, especially the second half, for you guys to keep winning ball games. Yeah, I thought our guard play was was huge tonight. I mean, we got absolutely zero low post touches. Uh, Alex got one late in the second half, but you know, we didn't we didn't really get any uh, production down there from the low block. Uh, it was great to have Alex back tonight, even in a limited role, even though he's not 100%. Um, wanted to play him a little more in the second half, but ankle stiffened up a little bit, and so didn't want to risk anything there. But, um, you know, our guards, our, our shooting uh, drives this team. I'd, I'd like to have made a few more threes. We had some good looks, and we've, we've got to be a little more efficient from three going forward. Coach, 49 points, lowest total of the season since Mississippi Valley State. I mean, you held them 13% on threes, 32% overall. Was this the most complete defensive effort you think you've seen tonight uh, this season? For a long, yeah, with the quality of opponent and how tough the system they run is to guard, uh, I, I would rate that as our best defensive per, uh, performance over a whole game. And, you know, the one thing we talked about before the game was rhythm threes. They'd made 25 threes in their last two road games, which they had won both of them. And we knew coming in that we had to take rhythm threes away. You know you always have to take backdoor layups away from them, but uh, we, we had to get out and take rhythm threes away early and not let them see the ball go in and, and you know, have that confidence that they've had the last couple games. So uh, one of 15 at half from three, I thought was probably the biggest stat going. Is there, yesterday we talked about Air Force playing a lot of guys. Tonight, your starters all, all played more than 25 minutes. Is there a little bit of concern with tired legs going forward, or is it this is just kind of what we have to deal with with all the injuries that we've been dealt? Yep, that's uh, that's the only path we have, and uh, you know we're we've cut practice down. I mean, I I'm doing as as little as possible. Uh, tomorrow will be a total day off. Uh, you know, we got guys battling stuff that, you know, obviously everybody knows about the games missed, uh, but we got guys out there playing uh, that are battling things that, that keep them from uh, practicing two days in a row, that keep them from running wind sprints, that, um, you know, that we're just trying to get feeling good again by the next game. And, and obviously we're playing those guys a lot of minutes. And, uh, but like I said, last, after last game, that, that is the only path we have.